Hello and welcome to our notes on composition of functions. Composition of two functions or more, you could do more if you wished, uh, basically is taking some functions and essentially if you remember systems, you're kind of applying the substitution method, so to speak, but you're, you're putting one function into the other. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is this symbol here that looks like what you might know as a multiplication symbol because you might have seen sometimes people do x times y. The important thing to note here though is the, this is an open circle. That open circle is the operator that tells you you're going to do a composition of functions. And this is read as f of g of x. Um, and it's of x because they have that x there. And when we have this, this first term is the, or this first function is the outer function. That's the function that you're plugging into. And then the other one here, the second one will be the inner function. So you'll notice we have f of g of x as well. So they took and turned it into a function using brackets and parentheses. So the way this works is you need to pay attention to which is first. So this one says f of g of x. So this is the outer function this is the inner function. So this is written as f of g of x. So what we're going to do is we know that if we for example had, I'm going to go off to the side here, if we had f of 4 and this we were using this, that means we're going to plug 4 in for x. So we would do 4 and then replace the x with a 4 minus 5. But instead of a 4, we have the function g. The function g is 2x minus 1. So we're going to plug 2x minus 1 in for x in the function f. So we're going to have 4 times we're plugging g of x, which is 2x minus 1, in for x, minus 5. Then after we do that, we're going to simplify because now we have some parentheses involved. So we're going to do 4 times 2x, which is 8x, 4 times negative 1, which gives us negative 4, minus 5. And when we finish this off, this is going to give us 8x minus 9. All right, so I just did this one. Why don't you try, I know you only just saw it once, but why don't you try it the other way? So do g of f of x. So you're going to plug f in to the x for our g function. All right, so when you're all done with that, you should have gotten, so we plugged in for x, 2x minus 1, we substituted in 4x minus 5 for x, and then when we distribute, we get 8x minus 10 minus 1, which ends up giving us 8x minus 11. All right, so next we're going to do Example B, which is another version of this, so they still use f of x and g of x, it's the same idea. Uh, but I'm going to do this first one, because this one's a little tougher, I just want to show you guys. So we know whenever we plug something in for x, we have to plug it in everywhere that the x exists. So when we do f of g of x, for this one, our g of x is 2x minus 1. Oh, they actually use the same g of x. We have to plug it in for both instances of x. 
So we're going to have 3 times 2x minus 1 squared minus 2x minus 1 and then plus 4. So you want to make sure uh, it's really important that you do the parentheses here especially with this minus x because you want to make sure you apply that minus sign to everything in this parentheses. So first let's do 2x minus 1 squared. So remember that's going to be 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So that's going to give us 3 times 2x times 2x is 4x squared minus 2x squared, sorry minus 2x. So when we do 2x times negative 1 that gives us minus 2x. And we're going to do negative 1 times 2x gives us another minus 2x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1. And then to save me some space, I'm going to really quick, I'm just going to swap out right here. The 2 here, minus 2x minus 2x, will become minus 4x. And we'll clean this up. And then I'm also, I'm going to distribute this minus 1 here. So negative 1 times 2x gives us negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1. And then that plus 4 at the end stays how it is. All right, let's distribute this 3. 3 times 4x squared gives us 12x squared. 3 times negative 4x gives us negative 12x. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 2x plus 1 plus 4. Alright, so last bit of cleaning up here. The 12x squared doesn't have anything to combine with, so it's going to stay as a 12x squared. We have minus 12x minus 2x, so it's going to give us negative 14x. And then we have plus 3 plus 1 plus 4. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. So this would be our final answer here. Alright, so once again, um, example, this second part here, g of f of x, is a lot easier. So I want you guys to try g of f of x and let me know what you get. Alright, so when we plug in this time, we're plugging in the 3x squared minus x plus 4 in for x with this one. And when we do that, all we're going to do is we're going to plug that in for x. And that's just going to mean that we're going to have to do 2 times everything. So 2 times 3x squared gives us 6x squared. 2 times negative x gives us negative 2x. 2 times 4 gives us 8. And then we bring down that minus 1 because we didn't do anything with that yet. So then, now that we have that, we combined the 8 minus 1 to give us 7 to give us our final answer. All right, so this next part here talks about uh, what do we do if they actually give us a number to plug in. Uh, so there are two ways you could do this. You could do the composition first and then plug the number into your result or you could do it step by step. Uh, I personally like the step by step option better uh, because I think it usually makes more sense to people. So what we're gonna do first for this example down here is they gave us f of g of one. So the first thing we're gonna do is find out what is g of one. Well, g, g of x is x plus 4, so g of 1 is going to be 1 plus 4, which is 5. So that means g of 1 is 5, which right there, that's g of 1. So now that we know g of 1 is 5, we're going to plug in that 5, and we're going to figure out what is f of 5. Well, f of x is 3x, so it's going to be 3 times 5, which is 15. So f of g of 1 is 15. Number 2 says f of g of 2. So remember that's going to be f of g 
of 2. So first we're going to figure out what is g of 2. Well, g is x plus 4, so it's going to be 2 plus 4, which is 6. And then we're going to do f of 6. which is going to be 3 times 6, which is 18. So f of g of one, uh, 2 is 18. This next one says g of h of 0. So you've seen me do this twice. Now I used f and g for both of them, but changing the letters doesn't change what we do. So why don't you go ahead and try this example here and let me know what you get for g of h of 0. All right. So h of 0 means we're going to plug in 0 for x, which gives us 0 squared minus 1. 0 squared is 0, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So that means I'm going to plug in negative 1 to g. And that means I'm going to do negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. All right. Why don't you guys try example this uh, fourth example here? All right. So h of 5 means we're going to do 5 squared minus 1, which is 25 minus 1, which is 24. That means we're going to plug in 24 for f. Of, uh, for f. So that means we're going to do 3 times 24, which is 72. All right. Now, for this seventh question here, I'm going to show you the other way to do this before we get into six. Oh, what the heck is up with this numbering? That should be a five. That should be a six and seven. So for this next question here, I'm going to show you the other way. So if we do G of F of X first, G is X plus four and X is three X. So that means we're gonna plug in three X to the g function, which means g of f of x equals 3x plus 4, because we're replacing that x in g with the 3x. So that means instead of going through the whole process here, I can do 3x plus 4 instead. So we are going to plug in negative 1, so we're going to do 3 times negative 1 plus 4, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Now, I'm just going to really quick show you, but I'll erase this part here. So if we did, we kind of did it because of how g and f work out, um, if we did f of x, f of negative 1 first, that means I would do 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. Then that means I would plug in negative 3 to g, which means I would do negative 3 plus 4, which gives me 1. So you'll see it works either way. So if you like the process of doing the composition, you can do that. Sometimes it's just faster to do the calculations than trying to do the algebra. All right, so g of f of h of 4. So g of f of h of 4. So we're going to work from the inside out. Now when you get to three compositions, this is when it's a lot more useful to do it where you find out what is h of 4. h of 4 is going to be 4 squared minus 1, which is 16 minus 1, which is 15. We found out h of 4, which is 15, so that means now we're going to do f of 15 f of x is 3x, so we're going to do 3 times 15, which is 45. And then for our last part, we're going to do g of 45. Now remember, each number comes from the answer from the previous step, 
which is going to be 45 plus 4, which would be 49. All right, and then this last one, so you guys saw me just do one where it's three steps. The letters are in a different order, but why don't you go ahead and try this last one, number seven, that's three steps. All right, so if we do h of two, h of two gives us two squared minus one, which is four minus one, which is three. Then we plugged in that three to g. g of three is gonna be three plus four, which is seven. And we plug in that 7. Uh, f of 7 is going to be 3 times 7, which is 21. That's it for our composition of functions lesson. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in at the end of this video.